Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So before we get on with this, as you can see, I've got a really nice uh, new chair and I can definitely kind of recline back in it a little bit more. Well, I don't know whether recline is the right word because it's not necessarily a reclining chair, but what I mean is I can really like sit back in it nicely, opposed to my other one where it was a little bit shorter, it didn't really feel... Um, I don't know, as comfortable, like this one feels bigger, it feels bulkier, feels like more comfortable, more relaxing, more as if I can actually feel that I'm sat in a really nice chair, um, but yeah, so really, really cool this chair, um, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy doing this sales update um, in the new chair of course, and because I haven't actually done a video in six days at this point, and that is a very, very long time for me to not do a video. Uh, normally I do a video like once every couple of days, so yeah, I definitely need to do this video um, for kind of my psychological well-being because it really is an addiction, you know, when people talk about YouTube, it really is an addiction that you, you just need to, you need to do a video, you really feel like it. It's like a creative thing, I suppose, more than more than anything, but even though my videos aren't particularly creative, but yeah, um, we'll get on with this uh, video now, I won't ramble anymore, um, but yeah, so first off, this item, my grandma actually picked this up from a charity shop, I think she paid £3 for this, um, and yeah, she's got a pretty good eye actually with some stuff, some stuff she can be a little bit not so great on, let's say, um, but for the most part, she's pretty good, she, she knows what she's looking for, and this is a vintage Chad Valley Pirate money box, um, like a little tin thing, um, you can see here, it's uh, it's in the shape of a book actually, um, and you can see on here as well, um, the number on there is 164, I'm guessing that's just like a number that kind of signifies this specific item in the line of, of other Chad Valley items, um, but yeah, so pretty cool, it's got its little key with it, obviously if you're picking up these things, make sure that if they do have a key, make sure the key is with them, otherwise it's going to be a hard sell, um, but yeah, so I got um, 14 99 for this, so that was really, really good, plus my postage on top, went within a couple of weeks, so I'm more than happy with that, but was, I think there was one other one on at 14 99 might have been one on at 19 99 so I just priced in line with that kind of lower guy, uh, the guy who was coming in a little bit lower, and uh, yeah, did me right on that one, um, and pricing a little bit more competitively definitely helped out with the sale there, so yeah, that was that one there, next is this Laura Rashley uh, Butterfly Garden Duck Egg, War uh, Duck Egg Wallpaper, uh, I didn't get 39 99 I actually uh, sent an offer to my watch as I did that for I don't know whether it was the first time, yeah, it might have been the first time on this item, um, but yeah, I actually accepted the, well, didn't accept the offer, but sent the offer for 34 99 plus my postage, more than happy to get these out though, because I actually paid £12, every time I go into Laura Ashley, I pay £3 per roll, um, so it works out obviously at £12 cost to me here, because there are four rolls, so £12 into 34 99 plus obviously my uh, £6.49 Hermes shipping on top, really, really happy with that, didn't take ages to sell, but I was just happy to get them out, because these ones, I don't think these ones are the most uh, desirable wallpaper to have out of the, the lower Ashley range, so more than happy just to get those out, but yeah, still still some decent profit in that. Next, we've got this old Staffordshire flatback ceramic figure, Samson Smith, number 12, uh, championship jockey. These Staffordshire figures, um, some of them can still go for good money, but a lot of them are quite cheap now, like 10, 20 pound, that sort of range. I'm sure there's ones like with everything that are seriously good money still. And, um, you know, even like this one, this one's pretty good money. Um, but a lot of them, what I found when I've been researching them, I've been a little bit underwhelmed with prices. Um, I don't know whether they're just going through a phase of, you know, not being as popular. Um, but, you know, I remember a few years ago, these were really, really popular. So, I don't know, like, it might just be that sort of phase. But as I say, there will always be ones of these that are going to be decent money. And that always change. that's always changing, like, with any sort of market. Um, but, yeah, this one, Samson Smith, uh, £48.49 plus my postage. I got this in, I think it was just, like, a random auction job lot. But it makes me think it would be a bit 
bit odd if uh, the auction house just randomly put this in a box. So maybe I got it off one of the shelves in a collection of figures or stuff. But I definitely know that that will have more than paid for the job lot. The £48 there, uh, plus my postage, and obviously will have got me some profit, because I don't generally pay hardly anything for auction job lots anyway. Um, so yeah, really, really happy on that one. Nice little sale there, um, nice Staffordshire figure there, and it's always nice to get a bit better sale, because I've, I've been having quite a lot of, you know, like 10, 15, 20 pound sales recently, um, and it's nice just to get, you know, as I say, with the wallpaper there, and also the Staffordshire figure, a little bit better value sales, but going back to something a little bit more bread and butter here, we've got this Royal Dalton Springtime Pattern Ceramic uh, Gravy Sauce Boat, uh, this was done in 1975, nice little item here, but you know, nothing incredibly special or anything, it also had this sticker residue to the bottom that I couldn't seem to get off, um, so I just end up leaving it on there, uh, we've got Springtime Royal Dalton Tableware 1975, um, so yeah, you know, not a brilliant, brilliant item, but still, you know, £11.69 there plus my postage. Might have had it up at £12.99, £14.99 originally, probably £12.99 originally. And obviously I've come down over over time in terms of price reductions and stuff. Um, generally, sometimes I'll just do random price reductions like 5%. Uh, reductions and stuff, so maybe it's come down in that, um, but yeah, so that's those, that's that one there, uh, as I say, nothing incredibly special, next we've got another one of the newspapers from the newspaper job lot that I'm incredibly in profit on, uh, this is a vintage, I mean, I've got tons of these still left over, I've literally got like 40 of these left over, uh, and I'm well in profit on them, like, I mean, I'm talking, I've probably made like 60, 70 quid pure profit off this lot already, and, uh, you know, it, I've still got tons of them listed, um, but yeah, so Vintage for Time, so Winston Churchill dies, January 1965, collectible newspaper, now, I didn't do research on all these newspapers, a lot of, uh, well, actually, I did do, I, actually, that's a word of a lie, I did kind of do research on all of them, however, some of them I didn't do research on, and the ones I didn't do research on, I just whack them on at a tenner, like, I don't even care if people have got them on at, like, four nine. 99 or 5.99 I'm whacking mine on for a tenner and eventually they will sell with these type of items I do not care like Honestly, literally, I do not care if I'm waiting two years on these items, because these are so easy to store, like, they're not, like, even, like, the 50 newspapers have taken up, like, one little box, it's hardly a, a huge, um, issue to store them, so, you know, with that being mine, with the, with the amount of space taken up in storage being so little, um, I'm, like, just whack them on, and someone will come along at some point, once those other cheaper ones have got picked off, mine's going to be the only one, and then I'll get a sale, and once people start to put them on, you know, maybe others put them on in the future, they're probably going to, uh, kind of price more in line with me anyway, or maybe go like six, seven ninety nine. so I'm just happy just to wait on them, um, now some of them obviously are worth a tenner, or are worth over a tenner, with those ones I've just priced accordingly, um, but yeah, so I just, I'm just whacking all these on, um, and yeah, uh, twelve ninety nine on this one, plus my postage, Went pretty quickly this one, well I say pretty quickly, it went within about a month, um, but yeah, so pretty happy with that one, uh, and also another thing about doing the whole just pricing kind of a tenner on a lot of these is, as I say, I am already in profit, so they don't even owe me anything either, so just waiting on these items again, it doesn't bother me in that respect, because I've not got anything invested in them now, so, yeah, 12.99 plus 3.49 on that one, I will obviously share any more sales from the newspapers in the sales updates, I'm sure you'll see some more in future, um, but yeah, so next we've got this vintage green leaf design glazed pottery uh, serving plate, now this wasn't a Wedgwood one, it didn't have any marks on in that respect, um, you know, it was basically like a, it, obviously it would have had a maker, but there was no mark on it, it was unmarked, um, but yes, uh, oh no, I didn't get 17 99 for this, I accepted an offer of 14 99 I did have this up for quite a while, this came in a job lot from the auction, with a load of other kind of, uh, you know, green leaf design pottery, some of it was Wedgwood, I'm actually in profit on that job lot now, so I was happy to accept 14 99 plus postage and get my profit out of it, um, but yeah, you can see there, it's like 23 centimeters or so, so it's a fair little size uh, sort of bowl, well not a bowl, like a plate or a dish there, it's kind of like, it's a plate, but it's slightly, you know when certain plates are like slightly concave, so it kind of, it's in that range of like, 
kind of plate slash dish. Um, but yeah, so 14 on that one. Pretty happy with that one. Next, something that I picked up not long ago in a haul video. Well, might be a while ago for you guys now, actually. But I did actually show this in a haul video. Um, and yeah, Walt Disney The Lion King Trilogy 1 to 3 Blu ray box set. Uh, £15.99 on this one. Really, really happy with that sale. Paid £3. I think it was £3 in like a job lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, so um, pretty happy with that. Didn't take very long to sell. Probably a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks at most. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with that one. 16 quid from three quid. Nice little flip. Um, and, you know, easy to package as well. I've actually just finished packaging it before. Uh, next, we've got various uh, metal novelty pencil sharpeners. Now, I don't think these ones were the play me ones. I don't know about the globe. I don't think that globe was play me. Um, but obviously, with the play me pencil sharpeners, you can actually get half decent money as like individual ones or even like in smaller groups than this but because these weren't the play me ones i decided to do them in like a, a group job lot because they're not as desirable um but yeah i actually accepted on oh no this was another send offer to watches thing i sent an offer for like 12.99 i've had these forever just wanted them out really at this point so i sent sent an uh offer to to my watches for 12.99 someone obviously bit on that and uh yeah 12.99 plus my postage here you can always you can also tell as well that it's an old one as i always say if my postage is like 2.99 instead of 3.49 that kind of gives an indication that it's a quite an older listing um so yeah you know it probably had them over a year or about around a year or maybe even older than that um but yeah so that was that one another old listing actually i've had for a long time destroy all humans 2 original xbox now this was the ntsc version i think i paid a quid for this at a car boot something along those lines 50p a quid maybe one pound 50 maximum but for some reason i'm thinking a quid on it um but yeah destroy all humans 2 um ntsc one because as you can see in that left hand corner has that little t uh with the team thing instead of like a, a pal logo i think that's how you tell anyway i've not done i've not done video games in a long time so uh yeah i might be a bit rusty but i'm pretty sure that's how you tell um but yeah so ntsc is obviously american over in over in america so it won't play on on pal machines um so you always have to put that in the title and stuff um, and yeah, 9 95 on that one, so I still got a decent price on it. Did take a very, very long time to sell though, so yeah. Just wanted to include that one because I don't really include many other sales, like mainly on my sales updates. It's like ceramics now and, you know, glassware and stuff and metalware. So I do like to include at least a couple of bits from other niches that, I, that, that are still selling for me a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then finally, again, something else from a little bit more of a different niche. Uh, this Nerf End Strike Elite shoulder stock with dart holder would have got this in a, in a nerf job lot you know quite a while back probably from the car boot probably doesn't owe me anything at this point uh 9.95 uh free postage there i what i do with a lot of nerf guns not all the time there are certain nerf guns i sell as complete units um but what a lot of the time i do is i break off the certain components so I'll break off the barrel, I'll break off the um, the shoulder stock here, and then I'll maybe sell the gun as, an individ uh, as a smaller individual unit, and then I get like, you know, a tenner out of the shoulder stock, I get, you know, close to a tenner out of the barrel, I get, uh, you know, maybe around a tenner out of the small gun unit, maybe if I include a few darts and stuff, and then, you know, I find that I get more money out of it that way. Yes, okay, I'm maybe paying a bit extra postage or whatever, but it seems to me that breaking them off, I end up getting a little bit more money. Um, you know, obviously, I've not really done Nerf for quite a while, so I would have to look into the market to see if that's the case, because, again, this is an older listing. I'd not broke down Nerf guns for quite a while, um, but certainly when back when I was doing it, um, maybe six months, a year ago, maybe just over that, uh, it tended to be for me that that was the best way to go about it. But, yeah, um, as I say, there are certain guns that you probably end up want to sell individually anyway, like as a full unit. Um, but, yeah, so that was that one, 9 95 there. And I will leave it there for this sales update, guys. Um, I think that's everything, yeah. And I think we've got, I think we've had 10 items there, there should be at least. Um, so, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe to the channel for more of this uh, sort of content. Uh, don't forget, if you did like this sales update, and please do uh, smash the like button down below also check out any of the links in the description my website's down there my merch all the rest of it um and yeah i will uh, leave it there guys and i will see you in the next one so i'll see you very soon guys